Hey, Lenny's and Bunny lovers. I'm so excited for today's video. It's been a surprise and you guys have been asking me about it all week. So Lennon and I are gonna be fostering a baby bunny. Isn't that insane? I never thought I'd let another bunny into our home, to be honest with you, just because of how territorial Lennon is. But I really wanted to make this video because I wanted to show you guys how beautiful fostering can really be. I mean, you are essentially saving a life. And it's a great way to kind of dip your toes in the water if you're not sure about the 10-year commitment yet. So you can always graduate to adopting if you wind up loving your foster bunny. I'm partnering with LA Rabbit Foundation today for this video. So big thank you to them. Please check them out. And I am going to make a fundraiser out of this video because they do so much great work for bunnies, you guys in the LA area. They are giving us a six month old lion head mix. He was found in a cardboard box dumped on someone's doorstep, you guys. His name is Morpheus. He is neutered, obviously. I am so nervous, you guys, to see how Lennon responds to this because we all know how she can be. But you guys know I have a lot of experience and I'm gonna make sure everybody's safe. But yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. They're waiting for us downstairs, so let's go greet them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Teenage boy. Yes, bunny delivery. Yay! She is like, she's not gonna go back to sleep after this. No. Look at little Morpheus. So sweet. Okay, um, let's figure out where to put Morpheus. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's the little Miss Lennon. I know. You have to make sure that the rabbits don't go up and attack each other through the through the carrier. But are you wondering what the heck is going on? So the foster bunny is saying, "Oh, I know this isn't my territory. I'm gonna hide in the back of the carrier." <laughs> Uh oh, does the that other bunny probably smells Lennon too? Oh yeah. They know it's not their space. This is important because I want people to see like, you know, if they have bunnies too, what it's like. She's them. not being crazy. I mean, she could be at the front of the carrier digging and trying to attack it, but she isn't. Are you mad? Or are you just curious? All right, Lennon, that's enough. Two little noses. All right, that's enough. I'm scared of you. I'm like, are you gonna like? <laughs> These are the foster procedures for Los Angeles Rabbit Foundation, which is my organization. Each organization has its own procedures, so it may be different for the rabbit rescue near you. Typically, we get online applications first from larabbits.org/fostering. And then we respond to each foster application with information about the procedure. We arrange for a drop off of the rabbit. We make it very easy. We send people a list of all the things that we provide for the rabbit. And the way we do it is that we provide absolutely everything for the rabbit except for the veggies on an ongoing basis and the rabbit proofing because each home is individual and it's kind of up to the homeowner to bunny proof their house right so then once they're ready for a rabbit we actually do a home safety visit either before or at the same time that we deliver the rabbit to their home so in, and you saw this list we provide basically everything for the rabbit we provide a, a tarp or waterproofing we provide a playpen litter box food dish we provide everything except the bunny proofing and the veggies. In this um, handout sheet, we also have instructions on exactly how to set up the pen, what to feed the rabbit, what to do if something goes wrong, where to store the hay, and all those basic procedures so that 
This is sort of like a one page cheat sheet. We have a contract <laughs> and the contract has a picture of the bunny, the bunny's microchip number, and then all of the rules that we have. So it's important to remember that when you're fostering a rabbit, the rabbit belongs to the organization. And when you adopt, the rabbit belongs to you. And so what we do when we set up foster homes is we typically won't let anyone foster unless they also qualify to adopt. So if you are fostering for us and you fall in love with your foster bunny, you can adopt the bunny. Yeah, and, and, if, and we call that a foster fail. Yeah, we call it forever fosters. Oh. It sounds better. There's this joke that goes around. Like There's this girl who said that she feels like a foster girlfriend until all her men find their forever home with someone else. <laughs> Just saying. I, yeah. I feel like that too. Yeah. Anyway, and, <laughs> same, same concept. Yeah. <laughs> so when someone already has pets, and particularly when they already have a rabbit, we want to make sure that those animals are number one, safe with our foster rabbit, and also that any other rabbits are neutered already and vaccinated for rabbit hemorrhagic disease. You sign first, because okay. I, I think you're approved. <laughs> I'm Yay. approved. Of course you're approved. I'm eligible. Just make sure Lennon doesn't eat the foster bunny. <laughs> so I all... like there's actually like a lot of pressure here. Like, yeah. Surprisingly. So but, all right. those are just the initial paragraphs basically okay. saying, you know, you're not gonna give the bunny away. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You're gonna keep the bunny in humane conditions. Give the bunny salads. Yay! Yay! And then, and then signature. sign down there. And then we just need some form of ID up here. And then oh, okay. emergency contact. Oh, okay, great. So you have my signature that I'm gonna be there for you. If anything goes wrong Yay. at all, anything at all, you can call me day or night. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I feel like I'm leasing a new car. Oh or my something. gosh. <laughs> Cool. Let's set up the bunny. Let's set up Morpheus. Okay, so we have all the supplies that we just brought up right now. Look at that. They're supplying everything from Heidi House to hay to the X-Pen. Like, I literally don't have to do anything except get veggies. Like, how convenient. It literally is like a bunny delivery service. Yep. I love it. We're gonna set up Morpheus in the bathroom, we've decided. Okay. Wow, they even brought a hair buster. <laughs> so Look, with the take... litter box and everything, you guys. It's gonna be Hi, little... bunny. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit tight, but we're gonna make it work. This is actually not quite big enough. But this is a waterproof floor, right? Is he potty trained? He is, but you know, anyone can have accidents, especially when they're in a new space, you know, they have to mark a new space. So then we don't want them chewing the tarp, so we put a blanket or a rug over the tarp too. And the next question is, where do you want the door? You want the door right here? Yeah, facing okay. outward. Yeah. Is that close enough? No, that's perfect. So I poached, punched out one hole in this. These are used in animal shelters to reduce stress for mostly cats. This is already prepared for our foster families. Oh, so perfect. Put that in the corner. And I use the, we use the wood pellet litter with hay on top. Nice. We just need to put in the toys and then yeah. you, you can add the pellets later okay. when you give him his evening salad. Yay. Hi, Lennon. Are you gonna help? You want to go in the bedroom? Actually, this is kind of cool, Lorelai, because you can close the door if you're not watching. Yeah, well, so like I said, I have room. this yeah. pocket door here. Are Remember? we ready to let him out? Thank God I have this big bathroom. <laughs> like, is this the, like, this wouldn't, bathrooms don't typically fit bunnies, do they? Yeah, mine does. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Okay. And I have, like, one of those huge master pads. Nice. So I can put two pens so are we ready? Let me see. He's probably really mad at this point. <laughs> we might have to get him out. They can use the litter box and they have yeah. a little dish there for water. It's so convenient. Mm -hmm. 
And then I also bring along frozen bottles of water because I'm always thinking about what can go wrong. I love how you can just put water in there. Show that in the camera. Yeah, actually I put ice cubes in it and then it melts as I'm going on. Oh my god, it's so perfect. I yeah. love it. The great thing about these top opening carriers is that you can reach in and pick up the bunny from, from the top of the carrier. Here we go, sweetie. I don't be scared. I'm going to close this and see if you're okay. He's looking for water. There's water. You have water in your carrier. It's not okay. Proud and dead are on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid Through the brighter days are on their way Well, he's like a little lion head mix, though. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if he isn't a full lion head. Because really? lion heads start out with the same hair everyone else oh. has. Oh. And then as they get older, their hair starts to sprout more and more. See how he has those little jet propulsions on the either side of his tail? That's an indication to me that he's a full lion head. Mm. He just, after his first shed, he'll grow in with longer hair around his mm -hmm. head. You'll see. Hey, Morpheus. Say hi to the Lennies. Hi, Lennon. Yeah, we want to watch and make sure they don't between the wire. But yeah, you do want to make sure when you have another bunny that that they can't go because they can bite through the wire and they can do serious damage where you have to go to the vet hospital and have their nose sewn back on so you have Jesus. to be really careful not to let them have direct contact through this wire. yeah yeah i mean if you d if you wanted to you would have to line the pen with something finer like maybe an nic panel or or um, hardware cloth, then you could do that because it would be fine grid. But this yeah. is wide enough that they can. Oh yeah, no, I have I have a little um, I have grids, and I can also just close mm -hmm. that door, like I said, the pocket door. Mm -hmm. Look at how calm he is. He's already using the box and eating hay. I know. He's like I'm home. Cause they <laughs> once they get out of the carrier, that's all they need. Like they get acclimated pretty quickly for the most part. I mean, his history is pretty, it's pretty scary. He was dumped in a box in a, at a house where they have lots of dogs and something really bad could have happened to him. So he was abandoned outside someone's house and then she ended up having to take him to the animal shelter because she couldn't keep him even overnight because of the dogs. Hi, sweet angel. I'm your foster mom for the week. Hi. This is Lennon's favorite position, and then she likes when I rub her belly. Forever's out, they'll stay. Okay, so we just got Morpheus settled. I just want to let you guys know I am making a fundraiser out of this video for Ellie Rabbit Foundation because they do such great work for bunnies. So commendable. They save so many bunny lives. And I just don't think a lot of these rescues get the recognition they deserve. So please consider donating any amount counts, even if it's just a few dollars, any spare change, because it makes a difference. I'm so happy to help you guys out. I'm so happy to be collaborating on this video with you. Um, so please, I'm gonna link all the information going to be um, on the sidebar and in the description. If you want to adopt or foster from LA Rabbits, again, I will link all of that information down below. And Michelle is your point of contact. So thank you she's, so much yeah. for fostering. Thank yeah. you. All right, guys, please subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. And we're going to be documenting um, our journey with Morpheus for the week so you guys can see what it's like. So thank you. Bye.
You guys, Morpheus is just flopped out. It's so cute. 